What's going on, guys? Matty Hack here, and review on uh, custom bronze for the Motorola Zoom. This one here is the Cyanogen Mod 9. As you can see, it's very responsive, really reliable, and it's pretty quick, also. Um, this one has a lot of options. I think this is the best one of all the videos right now that I'm doing for the custom ROMs. I would say this is the best one I have here. I know I'm an AOKP fan, but this one definitely, definitely took took the prize for the first place. Review very quick. These are the the custom or another custom. And these are the the stock apps that come with the ROM. Uh, it has Apollo DSP Manager, ROM Manager, Voice Dialer, has Torch, um, the Terminal Emulator. Now, I don't really mess around with that. That's um, that's a whole nother level for me. <laughs> so uh, let's get into settings. And then as you can see here, um, you're pretty much your standard, you know, standard stuff here: airplane mode, VPN, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Okay. Now, why I like this one a lot better than the rest because this one here has a lot of customizations for your home screen. For example, the launcher here. Take that out, home screen. Here you can change almost everything on it uh, the number of screens on your home screen goes up to seven up to seven is the most uh, you, you, you can choose your default screen the grid size and you know whether you want to have a three by four four by four seven by seven you know however many apps you have um, has a vertical padding horizontal padding has a search bar you can take that out you take is an option to take it out or put it back in and then of course the resize of any widget which is pretty awesome because sometimes you want to you know you want to put more than a few widgets that can fit in that screen so which is pretty tight um transition effects has a pretty has has to have a lot a lot like you know apex launcher would like the paid version but it has a nice good handful of them so this is a very very good plus on it um that's cube in cube out you know there's just your standard transitions which are which are very very good Okay, so then we have here also the, the the fade side pages in the scroll wallpaper, whether you wanted to scroll along the wallpaper or just stay with the same one. So that's home screen. As for your drawer, um, has transition effects, same ones, um, fade side pages, and then join with the apps. Meaning, if you want to just keep scrolling us alongside the uh, the apps, uh, it will just go into the widgets, or you have a select menu for a different one for that. Okay, so as a general, this just gives you your auto rotate, um, auto rotate screen. So this doesn't do anything. Uh, your lock screen, pretty awesome. Most screen security, just your standard. It does not have face lock, which is a pretty bummer because I, well, I don't really use it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just your regular slide pattern, pin, and password. Um, delay screen lock. You can delay the screen lock whether you unlock it and it'll give you a, like a five second delay or whatever. Uh, menu unlock, pressing the menu button unlocks the device. And the quick unlock, which is um, if, you have a pin, if you have a pin for it, um, you don't have to push the OK or the end button. It's just as soon as you put your pin in, it will unlock. So, And then you have the option of displaying your info in the front of the lock string or the weather, calendar. And the slider shortcuts are pretty awesome. Um, I would think this is the best, um, the best layout for it. If you see on, if you see on the other videos, it will give you like options on the side, whether you just keep adding and adding on, like it'll be like a, a horizontal line, and you just keep adding. So you don't really know which which one it is. So this one comes with a stock, uh, what is it, three, five, eight, whatever lock shortcut, whatever you want to call it. So you can just go ahead and just let's say you want to go this one and just type in that and choose whatever you want to do with our setting or application. So that's a very good plus right there. And uh, as for themes, come with a single theme, the stock, which is the current one. I'm not sure where you can get more. I'm not sure it's gonna be more available the next the next update of this ROM. So and as for system, you have the combined bar. Which be here at the bottom. What you want to have is the uh, show the clock, or you don't. Um, AM, PM style, um, auto hide. Meaning, if you were watching a movie or something, and you want to have a full screen. The bottom bar will disappear. Battery status, whether you want to show a percentage or have it hidden. You know, you, you know, normal stuff that you see in any customization ROMs. Um, show notification counts. Whether you have emails or something like that, updates. It will show you a count of how many updates you have in the bottom. So I mean, most of these, 
Um, usually, I, I get onto the Apex launcher, and um, and like on my other ROMs, I have I install Apex launchers right away, just because of the whole customization I can have with the home screens. But this one already has everything on it already, so I have no reason to install Apex launcher. This is why this was already my first my first choice for custom ROMs with the Wi-Fi Zoom. Um, and the neat thing about this has profiles. Um, it's on default right now, but let's say you're at home or something. Um, so you can have your Wi-Fi on your whatever else. Um, see the settings for that. You have um, this. We don't have mobile data because this is a Wi-Fi. So I'm assuming this could work for a 3G version one. Um, you have the Bluetooth, GPS, wi -Fi. If you're inside the house, you have GPS off. You have the Wi-Fi on. You know, and have a. Um, you have a. If you have anything else like uh, alarms or media or something, a like calendar, you can have that on. You can just change it up right over here. You know, you can change your lock stream modes if you're at home. Um, so, you go back to profiles. If you're, it's at nighttime, you're ready to go to bed, you can, you know, turn off Bluetooth, turn off the GPS, Wi Fi, stuff like that. And also, let's say if you're at, uh, when it's silent, you can have things on silent. Or if you're at work, you have some, some other things on, for example, like 3G or something like that. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, um, pretty good for the profiles here. You can just, you know, quickly choose what you want to, where you at, and they'll convert the settings to that. So that's also a very, very good plus. And of course, as performance in here, um, you have processor wise, you can change your uh, your CPU governor, which is on demand, which I usually have it on demand anyways. The only way, the only reason why I, when I put it in performance is when either um, I'm running the uh, PlayStation One or the PSX uh, emulator, just to give it that you know that dual core boost, so I can get the the games to play with non glitches. But otherwise, I keep it on demand. I don't really keep it anywhere else but there. So, um, you can change your minimum and maximum CPU frequency, and you can do the set on boot. So, I mean, that's pretty much it on this. The, um, as you can see, again, it's very, very responsive. Uh, if you go here in the set, uh, let me see what the, the side menus here. You have this right here, and you have your toggles here too, also, which is pretty awesome. And your settings down the bottom. So here we're in the about tablet. And uh, so you can see it's running the 4.0.4. The current version is Cyan Engine Mod, I think, 2.6.39.4. Um, and this is meant for the Zoom, for the Wi Fi Zoom. Now, if you could look at the link below, I think it does have it for the other ones also. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions, please comment below. And I'll uh, always answer the comments. So. That's about it, you guys.